Hi friends, I am here to talk to you about the Color Monkey display. So x rite is one of the amazing sponsors of Promoting Passion, and I wanted to share with you the way that I use their products. So I use the Color Monkey display, and what this does is it calibrates your monitor. So I get asked all the time from people, how do you make sure that your prints come out the way that you want them when you send them to your printer? And the answer is this, I calibrate my monitor. Now, I first talked to x rite and said, I am not a technical person. I don't like to spend a lot of time doing these types of things. So what kind of product do you have that will let me do this quickly, efficiently, where I won't have to think about it all the time? And they said, the Color Monkey Display. So I started using it and it is absolutely true. It only takes six minutes to do to calibrate your monitor and I do it once a month. And I think that's a pretty small price to pay for having prints come out perfectly every single time. There are two things that you need for good prints and that is trust with your printer and a calibrated monitor. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how to use the Color Monkey display. After the software is loaded on your computer, you're going to want to plug the Color Monkey display into the USB port in your computer. Once you do that, you're going to want to open up the Color Monkey display app. And you're going to have two options, Profile My Display or Profile My Projector. This is great because I use a projector a lot, but today we're going to Profile My Display, which is your computer screen. You can choose easy or advanced. So we're going to go with easy today because it gets the job done. Once I hit next, what it's asking me to do is to set down the color monkey display flat on my table so that it can measure the ambient light in the room. Now, I very frequently keep my overhead light on when I edit. I know that that's a little bit weird for a photographer, but I really enjoy light, bright spaces. So I have my overhead light on while I'm measuring my ambient light, and I'm simply going to click Measure. So it's telling me my room's current ambient light level is 48 lux, and I'm hitting Next. Now it's telling me that a series of color patches will be measured to determine the gamut and color response of your display. So it's going to flash a whole bunch of colors on the screen for a full five minutes. What it's asking me to do is to take the cover off of this display and set it just like this. And what this is showing me is that I can now take the Color Monkey display and put it on top of this yellow figure. I'm doing that by bringing the Color Monkey display over top of my computer and letting it hang so that it lays absolutely flat on my screen. Once you have that finished, you can click Next and the process has begun. Now this is going to take five minutes. Think about how much you can get done in five minutes. You could book a plane ticket, go clean the kitchen, read a book. You could learn to play the guitar. This is almost the last step of the Color Monkey display in calibrating your monitor. So after these five minutes are up, it's just a matter of clicking a couple more buttons and your computer will be newly calibrated. So now all you have to do is click save, so then you can save your profile. And while you do that, you can take your Color Monkey off and now it says profile complete. I have my display reminding me every four weeks to recalibrate and you can do it sooner than that if you want. It's just that I'm not really home that often so four weeks is good for me. When I click next, it takes you to the screen where you can see the before and after. You can see what a drastic change that was, and I calibrate every month. So just think about how badly your monitor might need calibrating. 
And that's the last step. So it's super simple, super easy, and I hope that this has shown some insight into how you calibrate your monitor.